Here's Brody Brazil. I don't even think it's an exaggeration to say that the A10 mini series of switchers from Blackmagic Design have been an absolute game changer since they came out. There's a couple different models, there's something for everyone, but if you're out there making content and you're looking to be a little bit more efficient in your production or if you're looking to live stream effortlessly, I mean, this is definitely the product for you. I've used this every day. In fact, I'm using it right now to make this video. And I actually own two separate models of the A10 Mini Series. The Pro ISO is here in the studio. And then I have a Mini Pro, which travels with me in a remote kit. I take that to San Francisco and make videos out there. So I firmly believe in this product. I think it has a world and a wealth of features that would benefit you if you're looking to make a high volume of, let's just say YouTube content. But again, it's very versatile. You could do a lot of different things with this, but I've spent a lot of time with the A10 Mini Pro, right? So I know it inside and out, and I'm not complaining here. I'm saying this from a place of love and admiration. I love this product. I think highly of it, but I've also realized that its next generation of products could be even better if they added some features. So these are my five feature requests. I don't know how logistic or how realistic they are for Blackmagic Design, but I at least wanted to pass them along. In no particular order, we'll begin with number one. I would love to see video scopes for every single input channel. Now, my switchers have four inputs each for HDMIs, but obviously the extremes have eight. Nonetheless, it would be fantastic to be able to monitor the input in terms of a histogram and the color levels and the balance of the actual input signal. That's not something you can do right now. That's something you also need usually another external device to do, or you actually have to do it in post-production. This would fix a lot of people's problems and issues before post-production. Take a look at the levels while they're coming into the switcher. They're going right through this device. So technically, I would think it, it wouldn't be too hard to add the scopes, and maybe you could put them on the multi-view or perhaps through the control software. I'm not sure, but... Somewhere it would be fantastic if there were video scopes and most likely, you know, I would use it on the camera, right? That's the number one spot to check my levels and see how things are looking. It would be nice and convenient to have video scopes available. Number two, I would love to see pro audio in and out of the A10 Mini. Now you're looking at the extreme model here, which just like all the others has the two mic inputs, but as eighth inch Stereo jacks, they're unbalanced, unbalanced lines going in. Um, but this one also has the headphone output. Now, mine does not have that. So on the Mini Pro ISO and the Mini Pro, there's no way to monitor the audio coming out of here. I mean, you can see the levels on the multi-view, but you can't hear it unless you're also listening to the HDMI source out. Now, like I said, the extreme fixes that, but beyond the in and out, how about the fact that it's all unbalanced, and I think it could stand to benefit from being a balanced line in and maybe even line out at the very least. But how about use XLR jacks or maybe even quarter-inch patch cables? I think it would just be more robust, more durable. My remote kit, in fact, I actually need to use a hum eliminator going into the A10 Mini uh, to reduce a little bit of a ground loop noise because it's unbalanced going in. So, again, pro audio in and out would be a fantastic update and upgrade to the A10 Mini series. All right, at number three, how about a built-in speed test? Now, some people out there may have this product and never even use it to live stream, but I do that a lot. And the only real way I can have a gauge to make sure that my pipeline out is going to be a good enough speed. And, you know, usually it's anywhere from five to seven megabits a second that I'm live streaming at, uh, which also means that you need an upload speed of realistically, hopefully 10 to 20 megs up. And usually it's more in the 40 range. But you want to test that before you start your live stream. I have to go to a separate computer to do that. Wouldn't it be awesome if the A10 Mini had that built in where I could hit a few buttons, perhaps pull it up here on the multi view? And it would do an internet speed check through my Ethernet cable to tell me, hey, 
things are good up and down and your live stream should have no problem. Now, while I'm streaming on the multi-view, it's able to tell me the data rate in megabits a second, but I'd like to know that before I actually start the stream. So perhaps it could link up with speedtest.net or somebody else like that and do an actual test so I don't have to go elsewhere to take care of that. Just a small idea. Hopefully that could be something possible. Okay, number four out of five, how about macro keys? Now you're looking at the mini extreme, which has, I'm not counting, but probably more than 150 buttons right there. <laughs> and I do understand that some of them are programmable, but I'm also showing you here on the slide, a stream deck. Now I am a user of two separate stream decks here at this very spot. I have a third stream deck, which lives with my other ATEM Mini in the remote kit. Wouldn't it be great if something like that Stream Deck were built in to, nope, there it is, <laughs> the ATEM Mini Extreme. You could have those programmable buttons, maybe even with the custom labels and kind of the screen behind it there. Wouldn't it be great to have something like that actually built into your switcher so it didn't have to be you know, for example, a, a completely separate device. A lot of people use the Stream Deck to control their macros on the switcher through BitFocus Companion. Why not, why not consolidate everything into one? And I do think that I would want to have the buttons with the ability to be labeled, so the simplistic buttons here may not even be good enough for a next generation. I'm legitimately thinking about how you could put a Stream Deck in one piece, in the same panel, in the same hardware as an A10 Mini Extreme. I think that, that would be a huge upgrade and that would be a huge step forward. Okay, last but certainly not least, this is kind of a small detail, but I do think it's important. On the multi-view in the broadcast world, right? You walk into any network control room across the continent and you will see clocks on the multi-view. And these clocks could be for a certain time zone, obviously the local time zone, but you could also have a count up, you could have a count down. On the multi-view here on the A10 Mini, it does have a recording duration and it does have a streaming duration, but it doesn't have time of day. It doesn't have any type of programmable clocks. Now, of all the things I've suggested so far, <laughs> this one's probably the easiest, and this one may not be the most popular request of my five, but I do feel like this would add a level of professionalism and detail, you know, that would really take the A10 Mini series to a new level in terms of uh, what it's capable of doing, how, how much it would help the, the user during a live stream, Instant look at the clock. How long have I been on? How much time is left? What time is it in different cities? It could, it could use up a small amount of real estate to give you, yeah, the time. A very big piece of information for somebody who's live streaming. So there you go. Those are my five feature requests for a future version of the A10 Mini Pro, Pro ISO, and other different models. And I don't know. Are they expecting to come out with something brand new in the near future? They probably don't need to. People seem to love what's already out there. I'm just saying maybe these five things, one, some, or all of them, could greatly improve the product in its next iteration. Let me know what you think about these five in the comments section below.